Hello and welcome back. Where the fuck are you? Hear that? Hang on, one minute. Oh, fucking ass better. There you are. Like as I was saying, right? Hello and welcome back to Crystal Butcher. And friends. And brothers and sisters. Tonight's debacle is, listen, it's it's a debacle, right? But it's piss easy. It involves one, two, three, four, five ingredients. And before I go any further, I will run through what I'm using. Right, first one, mushy peas. British red potatoes. You can use whatever potatoes you like, right? because it's going to be mash. I'm using them because that's all I had fucking left. Holland steak and kidney pies. Again, you can use whatever fucking pie you want. Gravy. And extra thick double cream for the mashed potatoes. Boys and girls, brothers and sisters. I am doing an Aussie pie floater. Right, let's get a move on with this, shall we? Because this is easy. You can see there, I've already got my potatoes peeled, cut, and in the pan boiling. Well, they're not boiling yet, but they will be. Listen, I'm not going to show you how to peel a potato, because I can't be arsed. And everyone knows how to peel a fucking potato, don't they? I've got my mushy peas from Asda there, and apparently now I need to cover them with water. Hot water out of the kettle. They're going to take about 30 minutes. And here we have my three steak and kidney pies. Hollands. Not that it makes any fucking difference. That's what chippies use here in England. They use Hollands pies. Uh, I'm going to put them in the oven on 180 degrees. That's gas mark four. That's 365 Fahrenheit. And they're going to sit, well it says on the packet, between 32 and 35 minutes. But you can actually take them out of the foil tray and cook them in a the microwave for four minutes. But I'm not doing that because it's not a super cool review, is it? If I'm going to do anything, I'd leave them in the foil tray and microwave for about 10 minutes and fuck, run like fuck. Right, time for my small channel shout out. While we're waiting for that shit to cook, right? Because we've got about 35 minutes before everything's ready. A bit of a different. I don't know how this is going to work. So I've got my phone on the chopping board, right? That's where it belongs, it's shit. Uh, right, obviously, I'm on my home screen of YouTube, right? Now all you need to do is go to my channel, which is there, right? As you can, I don't know, you can see that, can't you? Listen. That chopping of an onion. That took me hours to edit. And it's still one of my favourite videos. And, and there's a part two coming to that soon. I don't know when, but I will be doing. So, listen. Forget that. I'm digressing. At the top there, you have home, video, playlist and channel. Zzz, right? Click on the channels. I don't hide my subscriptions. Some people do. Uh, and if you just scroll down, it'll basically show you what channels I'm subscribed to. So just basically browse that. Obviously, there's some big YouTubers on there. There's a few small ones. Tegan Richards. Now, she did a... I watched a video of hers the other week. Uh, she was imitating some uh, makeup from a famous makeup artist. 
Uh, I'll be honest, we only watched it because she's a bit saucy. Well, then again, don't tell Louise. We've got the Fish Sandwich Show, the Student Cooking Channel. He's, uh, that's part of the Cowbridge Kitchen. Cup of Spring, Cup of Jar, we've been through all these. There's KSI. I offered him a fight. He was shit out. He shit out. He didn't want it. Uh, I'll eat food. Christina Fogel, Dean's Beer Reviews. The Chuckin' and Beer Channel, you know what I mean. Northern Southerner Beer Reviews, Blue Nose Beer Reviews. So fucking drunk, 66, cracking name for a channel. Absolute, the boy. that is a fucking brilliant name. Listen, I'm going to do, I'm going to start doing some, uh, uh, Dame Drops, he's got like, you know, he's got, he, he don't need our fucking help, does he? Uh, Colin's Cooking Channel, he's a, he's a nice guy, cracking cook as well. Uh, you know, Rick's Rick's YouTube channel. That's uh, Rick's Food Channels. <laughs> Second channel. He can tell you how to uh, program a Sky Remote so it works a fucking drone. Maybe I've exaggerated that a little bit, I don't know. Uh, here we go, uh, you know. Yeah, they're all there, they're all there. Tipsy Walk. Absolutely, I tell you what, Tipsy Walk. I know I give him a shout out. Definitely look at his channel because he is funny as fuck. What else we got? Cooking with CJ over in California. Now he knows what he's talking about. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The Real Show Barbecue. They have they have come on leaps and bounds. I'll tell you that now. Brilliant, brilliant. TGF bro. Everyone knows who TGF bro. Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Now he's got twenty odd thousand subscribers, but he helps. Any little channel you can fucking find. He's a fucking true gent. So I suggest you get on there and subscribe to Ray. No Hippie Barbecue and Cooking. He's another one. Absolute crack. He always give giveaways. And his son is fucking huge. He makes him look like a fucking midget. Pete Thomas, we all know. Purity Pie. Cut you bastards. Cracking channel. Uh, Big Matt Mick, if you're interested in gambling. Uh, Joe Weller, we all know who Joe Weller is, he got his ass kicked by KSI, didn't he? Mark's Remarks, he does a £25, how many meals you can do with £25 from certain supermarkets? Kelly, Maverick Baking, seriously check her out. She's Scottish, and she likes to swear. Planet Keith, how can we not have Planet Keith in this? Uh, that's his uh, second channel, obviously his first channel is Keith Cooks. Uh, no, no, no. So, Stash, Mark and his wife, Monica, cracking, cracking channel. Vegetarians, but they're not proper vegetarians because they eat fish and shit, you know. Uh, the drunk cook, he hasn't absolutely up he hasn't uploaded for nearly a year, so I don't know what's going on there. The Beefy Boys, they've got a restaurant down in Hereford, and they're, uh, I should be cameoing in one of their videos very, very soon. Albeit, just by voice. Carry on, Jeff and John. Beard meets food, he don't need a... You know, Cowbridge Kitchen, Man City, he didn't see that. That's uh, the Connor and Kieran show, that's another one of my channels, but there's only one video on it at the minute, because it's really difficult with everything else. Uh, we've got uh, Jessica Silver, The Country Wood Smoke, You Suck at Cooking, he don't need them, he's got, he's got over a million. Uh, Adam's Eats, absolute brilliant. Get on Adam's Eats. Actually, my, my How to Chop an Onion is uh, a dedication to Adam, so get on there. Rusky, I know Rusky, he's uh, all training and vlogging. Listen, just scroll down and have a look, you know. I mean, I've, I'm subscribed to loads of channels. Anyway, I've waffled on here now for fucking nearly seven minutes. I can't remember who mentioned, so I won't be putting links in the description. The name is of the channels I mentioned and you saw on my screen there. So, uh, without further ado, hey, look at that, I've got seven notifications on Facebook. Fucking hell, someone's popular. The mushy peas look done to me. The spuds are done. The pies are virtually done. So, listen, I'm gonna do the uh, mash with uh, some butter and that 
extra thick double cream. You don't need to see me mash it, do you? So basically, that what I'm, yeah, what I'm saying to you guys is, next time you see this, I'll be dishing it up. It won't be on a plate because I'm putting it in a bowl. Oh shit, yeah, I've got to make the fucking gravy yet. Right, be back in a minute. This is the part of the show where we build this bastard. Right, my Aussie pie floater. Mushy peas. And then, the pie. Oh, it's probably, I'll tell you what, let's put it that way around. Oh, look at that. Listen, I'm using the same spoon I've just used, but mushy peas. But I can't be asked. And apparently, you put a big lump of mash on top and make a hole if you can. Eh, it's not happening, is it? Let's put a bit more mash on there. Right. Eh. That'll do. I'm not asked, right? I'm really not asked. And then, on top, this is how simple it is. Gravy in the middle, and it should run down the edges. And there you have, boys and girls, apparently an Aussie pie floater. Right, I'm going to get down here, I'm going to take my thumbnail, uh, my picture, not my thumbnail. And uh, we'll delve in for the taste test. It has arrived, and it's now time to slide this down my fucking gizzard. Right, so we've got our mushy peas, we've got our steak and kidney pie, we've got our mash, and right now it just looks like a ball of shit. But I know this is going to be absolutely fucking out of this world. So I've got my pie, I've got a bit of pie, a bit of mushy peas, gravy, a bit of mash. Oh. Oh. I shit you not. Do you know what? That is out of this world. Mmm. You got the mushy peas. That tastes like mushy peas. You got the steak and kidney pie. That tastes like a steak and kidney pie. And you got the mash. Don't forget the mash. And mash that with butter and extra thick cream. Now, in hindsight, just get double cream. Because extra thick cream is like wallpaper paste. And I basically had to paste the cunt into the mash to get it in. But it worked and it's creamy and it tastes fucking mighty fucking fine. Basically, that's all I've got to say on it. So uh, let's bang up here and let's uh, do our finishing speech. That was my Aussie pie floater. It was simple. It was easy. And most of all, it was cheap. So, you know what I mean? You try that. Listen, I actually nicked that. I didn't nick it because I didn't make it up, did I? I uh, saw a video uh greg's kitchen right in australia and he posted it about a year ago and i sent me a message saying listen i've got this little channel i fancy doing this is that okay by you if i do this and guess what he's got 180 odd thousand subscribers he never got back to me so fuck him i did it anyway so <sighs> listen Joseph Holt's Golden Ale, two hoots. Tastes good. It was Joseph Holt's. And up here in Northern England, Joseph Holt's has not got a really good fucking name, to be honest. The beer normally tastes like drain cleaner. But that tastes, that tastes good. But, you know, I, got, I, I, I interrupted myself earlier on. And I said, what am I going to do? I'm going to start doing some beer reviews. 
Why not? You know I me, mean? I drink beer. Everyone knows I drink beer and I get fucking pissed as assholes half the time. So let's get some different beers in. And let's do some drink uh, beer reviews. If you don't want to see it, tell me. If you do, tell me. If you like it, press like. Comment. Share it on your social media. Facebook, Twitter, we go through it all the time. Snapchat. Listen, fuck all that. Just add me on Snapchat. <laughs> that is one fucking bollocks of a fucking app. I love it. Now I know how to work it. And my Snapchat score is now over 500. And uh, like Lucy, my daughter, her Snapchat score is 77,000. <laughs> what the fuck? I ain't got a fucking clue what I'm doing. But it's fucking fun. The filters are fun. Oh yeah. And subscribe. And become a member of hashtag Team CTB. With me. All them channels are flicking down. Check them out. Go to my subscription list and check them out. If you like the look, press subscribe. Ring that bell. Tell them Chris the Butcher sent you. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think we've covered all bases here, haven't we? Yeah. I fucking love you.